Welcome to another Europe Chronicle. This is Amsterdam, one of my favourite places we visited and least expected loves. But we started our journey by heading from London to Amsterdam via the Eurostar, one of my favourite ways to travel Europe. After a long day of travelling, we checked into Mr Jordan Hotel. We were greeted with two swans in love, which definitely juxtaposed the situation we were in. But this was definitely one of my favourite accommodations we stayed in. The area we were staying in was filled with so many locals, light and beautiful cafes. It definitely felt like we were experiencing such an authentic version of Amsterdam. After not eating very much before our train, we decided to head into the first place we saw, which conveniently introduced us to authentic Dutch pancakes. <laughs> Eager to see what else Amsterdam had to offer to us, we decided to spend our afternoon exploring, admiring the architecture and visiting a few coffee shops. Every time we were walking into the centre, we walked past this beautiful cafe filled with locals. So when it came to deciding where we were spending our evening, this place made complete sense. And of course, that was followed by our first Heineken from our time in Amsterdam. An absolute must when you go to Amsterdam is the Anne Frank house. However, you're not allowed to take photos or videos, so all we have is this video of the Anne Frank door, but it was the most incredible experience that I will never forget. Shut it. Yep, go. After kicking off our morning with juice shots, we headed to this market that we found on TikTok via the train system, which was so easy. Still thinking about the most incredible foods, we decided to head home, have a siesta, and eventually meet again for cocktails before heading on our canal cruise. This canal cruise with Pure Amsterdam was the best way to see the city. The cruise was filled with local wines and foods, while our captain gave us history of Amsterdam and little things to look at that you never would have noticed yourself. I definitely recommend doing this cruise at sunset because you were able to see the city from a new perspective through the canals and it was just incredible. And to balance out this beautiful Amsterdam we just experienced, we went to the ice bar and then played a few games of pool before heading home. Slightly hungover, Nick and I decided to hire some bikes, get some breakfast and head to one of the most beautiful parks in Amsterdam. Initially we had left with the idea of going to see the Van Gogh Museum, which was on the bucket list for me. However, we didn't do much research and didn't realise that you had to book weeks in advance, so we just got to experience the exterior, which was just as beautiful. One of my favourite ways to view a city is through its parks. I love being able to see locals and friends and family and people from all different walks of life just taking a moment out of their day to relax. After returning our bikes, we headed to the Heineken experience before finishing our very last night in Amsterdam. I felt a heavy heart waking up on our final morning in Amsterdam. Although my time in Amsterdam was short-lived, this city was filled with so many surprises and by far one of my favourite places we visited on the trip and I can't wait to go back in the future. See you in Paris!